Hello and welcome to the Excel Business Series. Now this is the second lesson on performance analysis. In the first lesson we talked about the balance scorecard. In this lesson we're going to talk about SLEs and KPIs. What are SLEs? Now SLEs are an acronym for Service Level Agreements. In its purest form, you can see that SLAs are agreements between two or more parties on the minimum level of service to be delivered and received. Now, these parties could be external to each other, for example, uh, two businesses, uh, a business and its supplier, or they could be internal to the business, for example, two teams, two departments in the same business. Now, uh, I've said that many times this relationship is um, one directional, it's more like a monologue. And why is this? The reason is simply because of power differential. Now, what you see in um, the real business world is that a big business drafts an SLA and hands it out to its suppliers and it expects them to sign for them to uh, actually um, be welcome, so to speak, or get into that contract. That's what you find in most in, in the real world. But actually, what you expect an SL to be theoretically is a dialogue between both partners, trying to find out how and why, when they can achieve certain results, performance results. Now, an exam example of an SLA is, um, let's say Walmart. You know, Walmart, the retail company. Let's say it has a supplier called Genesis. And Walmart tells Genesis that it's written in a document, in an SLA document, it says 90% uh, of the time uh, Genesis, our supply, supplier, you should deliver product XYZ within 48 hours after you've received the PO. Uh, worst case scenario, the other 10% should not exceed 120 hours between receiving the PO and delivering the product X, Y, and Z. Now, what are KPIs? KPI is, uh, is an acronym again for Key Performance Indicators. In business scenarios, uh, what I've seen is that the term KPIs are actually used interchangeably with SLA. But it's not actually the same thing, but that's what you find in the business world. Uh, KPIs, they actually identify the attributes to be measured. It asks quantitative questions and receives quantitative answers of your data. Now an example of KPI is this. Remember we talked about this SLA, right? Now a KPI you can get from this SLA is uh, the time the vendor takes to deliver the product X, Y, and Z after receiving the PO. Now while the SLA talks about what it, uh, what it expects, uh, the KPI talks about what actually occurred. So what you could then do is measure, in terms of performance measurement, is to measure actual against expected. That's basically the whole, the whole, the whole thing about about performance analysis. So here it is. Path, uh, KPIs are used in desi designing scorecards and other performance metrics. Metrics. In a t in a you know big theoretical view, you can say that all business intelligence is about measuring KPIs. Now, what, what I, do I mean by that? It means, it simply means that all the data people, all the data that are retrieved from an organization can be used to, can be measured against um, expected strategies, so to speak. So, you know, you've got your, your, your goal for the year is to make a million dollars. You look out for how much you've earned so far and measure it against what 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 was actually end? That's basically performance. So it all go, it goes down to every single thing. What was expected and what was actually delivered. You measure all that, and that's what KPI is all about. Now KPIs are differ across industries. The KPI you're going to find in uh, the nuclear industry is going to be different from the KPI that you would find in the automotive industry. 
And even within an organization, within an industry, what you find is that the KPIs will differ within, or rather across the units within a business. Now, if you're an Excel specialist in an organization, maybe a data analyst, an MI analyst, and you have an exposure to performance analysis or KPIs, you will find yourself in roles that could be probably just imputing data into um, into into a, a, a performance tool. You could find yourself in a role where you m produce reports from data that have been imputed in the performance tool, or you could find yourself actually chasing up uh, uh, m uh, members of the, so to speak, uh, performance body, trying to ensure that you meet SLAs, and this could be true face-to-face -face communication or through telephone, email, things like that. Over here, I'm going to show you a real-life example of KPI and SLAs. I'll take the first one. This is an example of a KPI. Right, this is a KPI from Salford University. Did I get it correctly? Yeah, correctly, yes. Now, example, this is major, and so you could ask, what are the total incoming calls received? 100. Uh, 1,105 were received for uh, the 20th day of December 2012. Now, of course, if you're going to uh, if you're going to if you're going to juxtapose this against performance analysis, performance measurement, what you will be saying is, how many are these calls? Uh, total incoming calls received versus what was expected to be received. So it'd be maybe 1,105 and we expected just 100 so overshot that scorecard or performance measure or whatever and that's basically how you go about KPIs and performance measurement okay we'll go back now let's take this one this is an SLA This is an example of SLA. This is between Warwick University and apparently its IT service desk. Over here you've got SLAs for hardware, application delivery, updates, incidents, requests. Right, and it's got the elements of these SLAs. Now, um, thank you for listening to this video. What we're going to do in the next video is actually build a scorecard using Warwick's service level agreement. I think that's going to that's be the best way of approaching it. So you have a feel of the thinking that goes, the thinking behind building the scorecard and how it is actually built using Excel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.